Managing diabetes effectively is easy. You take your medication exactly as prescribed, eat a balanced diet with lots of vegetables and whole grains, practice good personal hygiene, and get plenty of exercise by running endlessly on your exercise wheel. Oh, wait, you don't have an exercise wheel. Well, that's going to complicate things, isn't it? Okay, so managing diabetes might be easy with lab rodents, but it's not so easy when we're personally responsible for working these behaviors into our regular life. But going toe to toe with our own diabetes is maybe the most important thing we'll ever have to do. I have absolutely no doubt that I'm enjoying my healthy and active life with diabetes now because I've taken diabetes management seriously. A diagnosis of diabetes isn't the end. It can be a beginning of a new, healthier life for us if we accept new duties and set new priorities to preserve our own health. That means effectively managing diabetes. What exactly does managing diabetes mean? That is a very important question and the most important thing to understand is that diabetes management is mostly self-management. Unless you're younger than 10, this is your responsibility. Others can help, parents, spouses, family, and friends. But if we ourselves aren't leading the charge, long-term success is not very likely. Self-management is one of the most unique things about diabetes, and it can be overwhelming. It will be overwhelming at times. Managing diabetes effectively has so many sides. We have literally devoted our entire DiabetesEveryday.com website to helping our members balance their lives with good self-management attitudes and behaviors. Every video we produce every article we post, every weekly menu, and every suggestion we take goes to keeping our members on track, informed, motivated, and improving. So how do I condense my whole website into a short video clip? Well, I can't, but what I can do is give you the wide view and hope that you'll get help working out the details in your own life. Here's my philosophy. First, three essential commitments to a new attitude. Without preparing emotionally for a change in lifestyle, we'll continue to view diabetes self-management as our enemy instead of our best friend. I intend to do a video series on these commitments, but here's the short version. Commitment number one, reality. For a detailed explanation of this one, go to DiabetesEveryday.com and sign up for my free download the realities of diabetes. Let's just say for now that common terms like touch of sugar or complications aren't nearly as innocent as they sound. Commit to facing the realities of this disease. And the most important reality is a positive one, that you can manage diabetes to protect your health. Commitment number two, priority. There are all sorts of things that got priority in our daily lives. Diabetes management needs to be one of them. Too many give it a half-hearted effort only now and then. Priority means making decisions with your health in mind. Make doing diabetes management well a priority. Commitment number three, knowledge. We need to be willing to learn new things. Just that simple to say, but how many of us consider ourselves to be that old dog that can't learn new tricks? Unless you are already a practicing endocrinologist, be ready to use your brain. I believe these commitments help us establish an attitude to do the real work of diabetes management. I call these behaviors, these daily actions, the diabetes management triangle. What are the three sides of the triangle? Medical management, diet management, and physical activity. This is what reality tells us we must do, what we commit to actually doing, and what we must learn how to do effectively. Medical management includes taking our medication as prescribed, following through with lab work and appointments with our medical team, self-exams like foot exams, and home blood glucose testing frequently. In fact, 
I'll recommend you ask your doctor for extra testing strips if you're advised to test only once or twice a day. Spotting blood sugar patterns is an important way to fine tune self-management skills and one or two tests doesn't make trends easy to find. If your doctor sees you're serious, you'll get those extra testing strips. Medical management can also include conditions that are made worse by diabetes. Heart, kidney, and eye-related problems come to mind. Diet management may be the most challenging self-management behavior. Eating is instinctive and we usually find thinking about food unnatural. Food is social, food can be comforting, and our perception of serving sizes and food choices is probably misguided to start with. But managing our food is essential, and you probably have a personalized meal plan from your dietitian that can help map the way. At DiabetesEveryday.com, we devote a lot of attention to diet, recipe videos, a weekly menu, and shopping list and videos about carbohydrates and carbohydrate counting, to name a few. Food is a challenge, but we can do what's necessary and we can still enjoy eating. That is really important. Physical activity, so many benefits, I won't even start to name them. But watch my introduction to exercise video for the full story. Getting physical activity is often about making time, priority again, and studies continue to show that any activity is better than nothing. A little aerobic activity and a little resistance training each week will even show you how to get this by accident can make a gigantic difference in the success of your self-management efforts. As a bonus, you'll have a clearer mind, sleep better, feel the blues less often, build stronger bones, and just plain live better. That's a pretty short view of a complex subject, but don't think you have to go this alone. Your medical team will head you in the right direction, and there are many options for support. Staying motivated is something we focus on constantly with our website videos, and we should all seek to find help between our doctor's visits. Diabetes disrupts an incredibly complex system to balance blood sugar, and it all worked automatically before. Now it's up to us to step in and figure out what works best for each of us to keep blood sugar close to normal. So let's get started. We don't have to be perfect, but we do have to try to be really good. You'll feel better and more importantly, you'll greatly reduce your risk for really terrible health outcomes. After more than 40 years practicing diabetes self-management myself, I can promise you it's worth every effort. Thanks for watching.